Does this cheap Chinese preamp improve my vinyl listening experience? No, absolutely not. That would be crazy, but it does come close and that is impressive. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. Full disclosure, I have nothing to disclose. I bought this with my own money. So this preamp is by a company called Fosi Audio, straight out of China. And as you can see here, it is a tube phono preamp. So the Fosi Audio Box S2 sells for around 60 bucks in the US. I bought it for about $80 Canadian on Amazon. This is a tube phono preamplifier. And according to the website, it converts phono signals to line level signals with low noise integrated circuits and high quality components. I guess we will see about that coming up. It has gain settings. Those are all switchable. On the back, it has two RCA ins. That is for your record player, your turntable. It has a ground there for your turntable as well. And then it has the audio output, two RCAs, and you output that into your amplifier. It comes with matched tubes. These tubes can be replaced. And if you look at all the reviews online, they are frequently replaced as people mess around and see what may sound best. For this review, I'm just using the stock tubes that came with the device. I've been reading a lot of online reviews about this and customer feedback and whatnot. And there was some debate as to whether these tubes are for show or whether they actually work. And some of that stemmed from the fact that there are little LEDs below the tubes, blue LEDs. And we put this on, the LEDs light up and it makes the tubes glow more than they actually would. And that made some people wonder if these are, are novelty tubes. But as far as I can tell, they're real. They work. If you remove them, the, the preamplifier won't work. So I have no reason to believe that those tubes are there for show. They are there to do a job. So I actually ended up buying this probably like six months ago. And I bought it to use in my home theater. The home theater is located in the next room right outside. The music room and initially i was using a u-turn orbit turntable there with a built-in preamp and it just, it didn't sound great that built-in preamp to my ears wasn't fantastic so i bought this to use with a turntable and this sounded miles better than the built-in preamp that came with the u-turn orbit turntable eventually i got rid of the u-turn and i've been using my project debut carbon turntable out there paired with this and it sounds good the receiver out there is really tuned for 5.1 movie viewing and it's probably just me i've never heard a 5.1 receiver process two channel audio really well i've never sat there with a 5.1 receiver and listened to music cd vinyl whatever and thought yeah it sounds fantastic so it's probably a limitation at least of the yamaha receiver i have there by the way every time i say yamaha i get a ton of comments saying frank you're saying that wrong it's yamaha in canada we say yamaha that's just the way it is so yeah it's been okay out in the movie listening area but i wanted to do a real test so i hooked this up here in my music room, because I wanted to do an A-B comparison using my Techniques SL1200 turntable, and that's going directly into my Marantz PM6004 integrated amp. So 6400 has a really, really nice built-in phono preamp. It's warm, it's detailed, sounds fantastic to my ears. So I was curious to see if I hooked this up to the system, how it would sound. So basically, I was doing A, B, switching back and forth between the turntable going directly into, into the integrated amp and the turntable going into here first and then going into another input into the Marantz where there was no preamp. And I gotta say, the results were pretty interesting. So at first I didn't believe my ears. It's going back and forth between the two, like the A and B and A and B. And while it did not sound as good as going straight into the phono input on my PM6004, it certainly held its own. The sound was very close to what I was hearing using the built-in preamp. I mean, this thing really did hold its own. I don't think it sounded quite as good. To my ears, the Marantz on its own, playing a record 
maybe had a little more bottom end. The soundstage may have been a little larger, but this thing certainly, certainly held its own. And I wasn't really sure if I was imagining things or what. So I brought my wife down to check it out and I didn't tell her what I was doing. I just said, listen to this record going through A and then listen to B and tell me which one you like better. And this is what she had to say. So Sherry, you have no clue what I was doing. I played you A, then B, then A, then B with David Bowie's Let's Dance. Yeah. What did you think? Um, I thought something sounded a little bit different with B, but it was so very small and I probably wouldn't notice the difference. So both sounded pretty similar? Yeah. Okay. So there you go. I mean, she said to her ears that they both sounded very, very close. I was afraid this one, to be honest, cheap Chinese preamp, right? I thought it'd be noisy. I thought there'd be a lot of that hissing sound you sometimes get for those ultra cheap amplifiers and preamps. And this one was surprisingly quiet. Now I didn't crank it to like, to like the point where neighbors would call police. It was like a moderate listening volume, but I didn't hear much hiss. I thought it sounded really good and for the price, for the price, it certainly held its own. The Fosi Audio preamp, I think would be perfectly paired with a cheap amp and it'd be a great way to create a decent sounding secondary system, a secondary stereo system. Now, it may be even more impressive if you swap out the tubes. I didn't mess around with that, but maybe something I fool around with in the future for the time being. This is gonna go back to my home theater so I can continue listening to music there with my Project turntable. And I have absolutely no regrets about buying this. All right, 33 is do you use a phono preamp? What do you recommend? Let me know in the comments below. If you dug this video, you might also like this one on my top rated turntables for $500 or less. I'll see you there in a couple of minutes. Till then, keep on spinning.